In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about wall tile. So in the, in the last few videos, we've talked about paint and wall covering and wood and all these different treatments. Well, another um, type of material that you can use on a wall to have a tremendous impact is tile. So um, with tile for walls, and this will be true for other applications as well, um, we're really thinking most commonly about um, porcelain tiles and ceramic tiles. Uh, porcelain tiles um, are, you know, like ceramic, are made of clay, minerals, and water. Um, they're just um, different compositions. So porcelain tiles are very water resistant. Uh, they have a water absorption rate of less than 0.5%. Whereas ceramic tiles are a bit more porous and it's more important that they actually be sealed with a glaze. Uh, so a couple examples with porcelain tile, you can have both glazed and unglazed. They just have a different um, feel to them and different appearance. You know, so if they're unglazed, it's really the color and the character is coming from the porcelain body itself. Uh, whereas glazed, you can really paint, you know, anything on top and fire it in a kiln and get a really unique look. Same is true with ceramic tile. You can have glazed and unglazed. Um, again, ceramic tile is much more porous, so it's much more prone to staining if it's unglazed, um, but it is possible. And again, with glazed ceramic tile, um, really then the color, the decoration, and the look is going to come from the color of the glaze um, after it's fired. Um, with glazed porcelain tile, it's very uh, low maintenance. It's not very porous, so it's very, very durable and you know really um, stands up to the test of time. All glazed tiles have a PEI rating, a Porcelain Enamel Institute rating, which will tell you how resistant the glaze surface is to scratching and chipping and things like that. So some tiles are much more durable um, and can take a lot more wear and tear than others, and some are you know, a lot more fragile. With porcelain tile, uh, we're seeing that they're made from porcelain clay, and that's what you're seeing on the left. A porcelain clay is very smooth. It's very refined and purified, um, and that's where you're getting that um, denser um, finished product. On the right, we have a ceramic uh, clay, and they, they vary as well, which you can see it's a bit rougher. Um, it has more of a color to it, whereas porcelain um, really is white. So they are different um, in their you know, makeup from the beginning. Porcelain tiles um, are manufactured by heating at a much higher temperature and for much longer than ceramic tiles. And some companies, here's Stone Peak Ceramics, for example, um, have these huge machines that make these super flat, very large um, porcelain tiles that can be quite thin and very, very strong. Ceramic tiles um, are more likely to be, you know, you can get handmade tiles, let's put it that way. They're also commercially manufactured, of course. Um, but when we get into the handmade, um, you know, they can have so much unique character and, um, you know, this kind of built-in irregularity, for example. Um, but they can be quite expensive. Um, besides porcelain and ceramic, we can also have cement tiles. Cement tiles are super durable. They're low VOC because it's just cement um, and they can come from locally sourced materials. They have a really um, very cool look to them and they're very sturdy, very durable um, and great for both interior and exterior um, applications. We can, of course, have natural stone applied to the wall, um, whether it's in large sheets or in smaller tiles. It can be very beautiful, um, but you know we need to keep in mind that natural stone is very porous. Um, it can stain, and we have to do things like seal it um, to protect it, especially in kitchens and bathrooms and areas like that. 
Um, thinking about current trends, I, there are just a ton of options that are available for tile. Um, and, you know, they're in any shape and size and color that you can think of practically. Um, but, you know, thinking beyond ceramic, beyond porcelain, um, beyond, um, you know, natural stones and cement, we also have things like glass, metal, leather, and wood. So, the floral image on the upper right is actually a glass mosaic from Artistic Tile. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, can be applied to the wall, uh, and it's quite stunning. Um, we can also have metal tiles, like the mosaic on the lower left. And we can have leather tiles that we see in that middle image with the hexagons. Those are actually leather-wrapped tiles um, that, of course, um, are somewhat fragile, right? So these aren't, you know, we can maybe put those on the wall, but putting a leather tile on the floor isn't gonna last too long. I mean, we can even have wood tiles and the wood tiles could be actual wood or they could be ceramic or porcelain that looks like wood or any combination uh, in between. So there is just a ton of opportunity um, for designing with um, tiles on the walls.